Now, brain training and the program that claims to give you back the memory you had more than a decade ago. Part exercise, part computer games, Perth retirees are now putting it to the test. Here's Andrea Burns. Forgetting a few things, anything that's good for the brain, um, is going to be good for me at my age. Showed my family and they said, do it, Mum. So Mum's doing it. What these women are doing is so much more than just a workout. It's a scientific experiment. Heart rate monitor beneath your hands yeah. and your RPM scale on the bike. Exercise physiologist Mitchell Saul keeping a close eye. Yes, I need to stay between 60 and 70, but I've gone a little bit above it. It's OK, if you're That's feeling right. comfortable, feel yep. Good, yep. yep. These retirees are mothers, grandmothers, but today they're unlikely guinea pigs. Trying to get that oxygenated blood around your body. Part of an Australian FIRST program testing whether regular physical exercise combined with computer-based mental exercises can slow or even stop the clock on memory. Brain training. It means if you're 70, you'd be operating with the memory of a 60-year-old or, or better. Alzheimer's Australia's David Gribble. People are always complaining about the fact that they um, are starting to lose the mental faculties that they had when they were younger, and this program's really designed to give it back again. I have a couple of close friends with Alzheimer's, and uh, yeah, it is a worry. The treadmills get the blood pumping through the body, then comes the computer workout. First, get the hammer, and after that, find the brush, and after that, get the stone. After that, find the screw, and then the rope. We know move it or lose it applies to our bodies. Scientists also believe it applies to our brains. Whether your grey matter is fit or flabby matters in trying to prevent dementia. You're increasing your brain mass and the number of cells in it. The theory behind then to Alzheimer's progression is that if you've got a larger brain mass to start with, it takes longer for, if you're developing dementia or Alzheimer's, for that to then become noticeable in terms of symptoms because you've got more to lose. Norma, Nola, Ruby and Helen will do body and brain exercises twice a week for the next 20 weeks. Other groups in retirement villages will also do the program every day for eight weeks. Which is more effective will be assessed later. Did it feel like it was doing you good? Yes. It made you really concentrate? What they're designed to do is stimulate different parts of the brain to actually get those neurons working. In the US, David says programs like these are already in use in hundreds of thousands of retirement villages. He's confident these participants will see real changes. They will tell you that they are um, more confident, that they can remember phone numbers and people's names better, that they don't walk into the room as often and think, why did I come in here? All of those things that we all experience as we age, this program is actually designed to address. Preventative medicine for the mind. You can build your muscles. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You're doing that up here now. Yeah.